they sold for a whopping <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. what does the sign say on an out of business brothel? What? Beat it, we're closed. <laughs> what is up guys, back at it again with another vlog and I think it's time that I update you on the paintings and how they sold. It's been seven days so the listing is over and I've got exciting news. They sold for a whopping. They sold for zero dollars. That's right, they sold for nothing. They didn't sell. We had viewers. Jesse's more than mine, actually. Jesse had 26 viewers, I had six. Uh, now, upon listing the paintings, I realized what I did wrong. There were a lot of things, actually. I didn't optimize these correctly at all. Uh, there were certain things that I could have done better. So I spent a lot of time looking at paintings that sold, paintings that did well. I sorted by who had the most amount of bids, all of that. And there's one thing that I realized in this. eBay is one giant search engine. That's all it is. So what do I need to do to get more hits? SEO, search engine optimization. That is a pretty common term in the graphic design world, in the uh, web design world, in the marketing world, in the e-commerce space. It's a very common thing to know how to do, which is funny that I didn't even think to optimize these paintings that way. When I do dabble in e-commerce, when I do do things that really rely on search engine optimization. I've revisited the listings and I have now gone through and completely optimized them. I noticed a lot of the paintings that were doing well had multiple images. I realized a lot of the paintings that were doing well focused on the fact that they were one of ones, originals. A lot of these paintings did well because they focused on being optimized, being the things that a paint collector or an art collector would really want. That's something that I didn't do. I really made the mistake of assuming this would be very easy. So I found the top 20 highest bidding paintings on ebay.ca. I went through each of them, read each of their descriptions, looked at all of the descriptive tags that they use, found the most common keywords, and built captions, built descriptions for both my painting and Jesse's painting around what is most commonly searched for. I'm doing this way smarter. So I re-uploaded them for another seven day listing. This time I probably would put the results at the end of this vlog rather than making you wait another week. Fingers crossed I do better this time because as someone who does dabble in e-commerce, it would have been smarter of me to have done this in the first place rather than putting a vlog out there with no results. So I'm hoping that this time with everything being search engine optimized, with the buzzwords being a little bit heavier hitting, I'm hoping that it works this time. Hey babe, why do mice have such small balls? Why? Because so few of them know how to dance. <laughs> so it's been about a week since the first portion of this vlog was filmed and interestingly enough we have still not sold the paintings but we did get some scam requests for them that was interesting that was fun uh, I do think I still need to learn SEO I need to get better and I mean that's what YouTube's all about too is learning SEO so it is fine 
Um, I'm not too concerned with it. I'll continue to list them, and we might even continue to do these paintings because they were a lot of fun. It was fun to do it. So I'm hoping that we can, you know, pull something together. I'll relist them, maybe, maybe better. Uh, maybe I'll continue to improve, but overall, I'm not too concerned with the results because at the end of the day, this was for fun. This wasn't really the expectation to change our lives. So ideally, these sell though and we can figure something out and maybe continue doing this. But that being said, I will see you in the next vlog coming Monday. I do have some exciting ones planned, so please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with five friends. That'd be great. Thanks.